now we are at lesson 7.12, uh, video B. Um, we're going to be working with the same um, story problem. An airplane travels the same distance every day. It travels 382, 3,822 3, miles a week. And then we are going to figure out um, per day. But I didn't write that just because it, I thought it was redundant. So for this one, we're going to work with, and I'm going to type this here, expanded notation okay now we didn't expanded notation multiplication and I guess we did rectangular sections multiplication so now we've done rectangular section division and now we're going to do expanded notation division all right so let's look at um, this one is going to be a little bit different because this one is going to be we're going to set this one up vertically it was the last one we set up horizontally so let's look at seven or let's look at our first our divisor, uh, 3822, two, two, and we're going to divide that by 7. And the first thing is how many 7s into 3,000? We don't know. We can't do it um, just because it's a little difficult. But 7 into 38,000, we know that 7 times 5 is 35, so we know that that's going to be 500. So put 3,500 here or 3,500, subtract 2, 2, 3, 0. Now our next question is how many 7s go into 322? Well, we know that, and I'm kind of doing this right here. I cover up the 2, okay, so then I just have 32. We know that, well, 7 times 5 is 35, so that's going to be too big, so it's going to have to be 4. So, and we it's going to be 40, okay, 7 times 40 is going to be 0, and then 2, 8, and now we're going to subtract again, 2, that becomes 2, 12, 4, and now it's how many 7s into 42, and that's going to be 6. So now I have these three numbers here, I'm going to add those together, and I'm going to get 546, okay? So, Hopefully, that number matches the number we had before. And to get that number, we just did 500 plus the 40 plus the 6, which will give us 546. Now, let's see how this works with a problem that we don't already know the answer. Okay, so let's look at 3,712, and we're going to divide that by 8. Okay, so the first thing we have to figure out is how many times does 8, eight go into 3,000? Well, we don't know that, so we, well, we, we could fig we're going to figure that out, kind of. But then we, we're want, we want to look at into 37. How many 8s in 37? And technically, it's 3,700. So 8 into 37, well, 8 times 5 is 40, so that's going to be too big. So it's going to have to be 4 and we're going to fill in 400. 8 times 400 is going to be 3,200. And now I'm going to subtract 2, 1, 5, 0. So now how many 8s in 512? And what I'm really looking at, boys and girls, is how many 8s in 51, okay? And when I think about the number of 8s in 51, okay, I'm probably going to think 6, okay? Because 6 times 8 is 48, so, but because it's 60, 8 times 0 is 0, 8 times 6 is going to be 48. And now let's subtract 2, and that's going to be 32. And now we ask ourselves how many 8s in 32? Well, the answer is 4. So now what we're going to take these numbers, 400, plus 60, plus 4, add those together, we're going to get 464, okay? So that's the, that is expanded notation division. One of the things is you look at the first number, if it's, then you look at the second number, but then you fill it in with zeros because you know that this is just in the 100 spot, so you have to fill it in. You look here, 50... How many 8s in 512? And technically, you're just looking at the 51, okay? You know it's 48, but because it's in the, we're dealing with the 10s, okay? So you have to just make sure that you're always filling in 
the extra number. Okay, here we're looking at 51, so we have to make sure we fill in the ones column with the zero. Here we're looking in the hundreds column, so we have to make sure we fill in the tens and ones column with zero. Same thing we did here. This is the hundreds column, so we need to make sure we fill in the ones and tens column, ones and tens with zero. Here we're looking in the tens column, so you have to make sure the ones column is filled with the zero. Okay? There's the secret, and that's expanded notation. Next, we're going to do um, what I grew up doing, which is kind of the old school, but um, it's digit by digit.